Hey guys, so this is going to be real life today. You can see that the shower slash laundry room has been enclosed and it makes a huge difference. I have doors open even though it's cold outside and it's holding heat really nicely. This time I had water in the tub and I'm soaking the clothes first. Um, I haven't had a problem with the clothes not getting clean, but where it's colder and I don't want to be outside for as long, I thought soaking it would work pretty well. I have the water boiling on the stove and real life enjoyable as long as the sun is shining I think it's a great day to do laundry. Okay so from before you guys know this is our rinse tub and we're just going to fill it up and I'm going to go get the boiling water and put it in here once I have the clothes in. nice thing about off-grid laundry is that it gets you outside at a time of year when maybe you're not getting enough time outside and most weeks there's a day with bright sunshine and a little bit of breeze which will help the clothes to dry faster so originally when I enclosed the porch it you know it's to keep wind and snow off the house to hold in the heat and on bright days to actually bring heat into the house um, one of the things I wanted to do with it was to use it for laundry, but I feel like it's going to hold too much moisture, so I think I'm stuck with doing it this way. You do need to make sure that you have the water up to the fill line. If you don't have it up to the fill line, it's a little bit harder to turn. And this is a little bit, it's not hard to turn, but it's, it's not as easy as it should be, which means I didn't put enough water in. If you don't put enough water in, it's harder on you and it's harder on the washer. Well, it is to the wash line, which means maybe I put too many clothes in. I'm not as concerned as I would be if I hadn't pre-soaked it. Okay. So the pants were not really that dirty. Um, they had been rubbed up against by a buck, by a goat, and so I just felt like they were a little bit savory, a little on the stinky side. So, they look good, and by taking those out, I should be able to get these other ones a lot cleaner. Okay, come dump them in the rinse. I don't know, we'll have to see. Hmm? No. It's just the pants steaming. Yeah, okay. These are the last ones. Definitely. No, because I'll need some more filled up for the next batch of wash. So, again, this is the hardest part is that the hot water hurts your hands. So if you're not planning you know, if you're if you're just gonna change your water out, it's not a big deal. But I don't like to put soapy water into my rinse water. And our clothes are not that dirty. And so I don't want to take my beautiful clean water and pour it out when I could do when I could put another batch through. But it hurts. It hurts it hurts to wring it out. So Um, those ringers over at Lehman's catalog are pretty expensive. I know some people use the ringers on like a mop bucket, which would probably work just fine.
Now, I just want to make it really clear. I have nothing against electricity. I think electricity is a wonderful tool. However, I do think that maybe we overuse it. Some things that we could be doing for ourselves with our hands, we choose instead to allow our machine to use it or allow a machine to do it. Um, and I, I, I feel like there are a lot of things out there in this world that have people really anxious and one of them is a lack of motion that it makes you so that you can't handle life very well because you don't have the confidence in your own body to be able to do certain things for yourself and so you have anxiety what if the power went down oh my goodness would our family survive you know you have these worries because you haven't tried to do those things you don't realize how simple they are and, and that you can do it and so i do feel like Electricity is an amazing tool. I wouldn't want to live without it. I have a refrigerator. I think that's a really important tool. I think there are ways to live without a refrigerator. And I would like to try a lot of those ways of living. But for now, I really want to keep my family safe and not have them get sick because I don't have a fridge. And so I just really enjoy this. I enjoy having a wood burning stove. Um, I enjoy using uh, lamp oil instead of electricity in lights. I don't think the the same tool is as important to, for every person. I think it's a very personal decision and a very personal um, introspection that takes place to know that. But I do think it isn't just about the electricity, it's about having confidence in yourself. And if you've never done things for yourself like this, then I think, I hope you have other ways to move. If you're not going to be off grid or live without any kind of, you know, replace any anything replace electricity with anything else I hope you have other ways of moving during the day I don't like to exercise for an hour a day in a gym I don't like to do that I prefer to exercise all day long by just participating in my daily life so this is part of the way I do that and I'm gonna go get a little bit more water okay so I added some more water up to the fill line what happens is when you put dry clothes in they absorb the water and then you're not up to the fill line anymore. So since I added some, some dry clothes instead of some wet clothes, I just need to add more water. And you'll see now that it's a lot easier to turn. There's not like that, er, at one, er. You know, at this point it just, it just swivels on its own. Again. And if I do put dry stuff in, I do like to let it sit for a bit and just kind of mellow. You want to get all the water out. If you don't get all the water out, you're just wasting it. It's just going to drip on the ground. Now, the reason I have to double it over like this is because of our wind. A lot of people want me to put it on with the waistband, and I can't do that in our area. Uh, we, we just have too much wind. And it looks like I need to restretch my clothesline. Okay, go get firewood and start stacking it. Actually, go put a log in first and open it and let it catch a little bit and warm up a bit and then go. Make sure not to let it get too hot. Okay, so if you don't have any clothes in here, you can just tip it and let the water come out that way. You can't direct the, the wear that it goes the same way you can as if you put the nozzle on. But it comes out a lot faster, so there's that option. That water is definitely dirty, so I'm gonna let it out. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna let those sit for a bit while I'm waiting for my water to boil. And it'll be amazing how much water they actually absorb just sitting in there. Okay, so I'm gonna use this to let some of the cold out water out the bottom so there's room for the hot water at the top. I don't want to let all of it out because okay it's really pressurized now when it kind of starts to be weightless if you know that it the weight kind of changed it means it pressurized like there's enough hot water in there that it really it really went psh. so in order to be able to get the uh water to come out with the nozzle 
There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna let a little bit more water out so that I can get some more hot water in. Okay, so I'm gonna pour some more hot water in. Up to the fill line again. Now, if it ever spits at you, it means you didn't put the lid on right. It shouldn't spit at you at all. Socks and underwear seem to be the easiest to get clean. Without fail, they, they just turn out really nice. Socks and underwear. Things that I like to leave in a little bit longer are shirts. Pants seem to get clean pretty quickly, but it seems like we spill more on our shirts than we do on anything else. I prefer to do it like this with the carabiner because then this stays loose most of the time around the tree. I did it differently over on that tree and I need to fix it so that it's like this one. You need the carabiner. For one thing, you can stretch it, you can put it away. You don't always have this clothesline out in your walkway, which I think is really nice. So carabiner for the win. And I did go look at the dollar store, but I do like these ones better. These ones are bigger. The spring is really nice. The honey something. Honeydew, honey can do, I think, so I'll put these in the link below.